happened. That's just... basic conversation, Omar, okay. Hosea. Just having some conversation, some different emotions when you're first early in the morning and you ain't you ain't got your day started. What be really in your on your head and we'll be gone now. Let's see. Mm. What do you say? You was raised, huh? Yeah. Why was you upset? Because I seen her picture. She was calling me. I mean, no. I mean, it wasn't no reason, but that was the reason. Mm. You know? It felt like something was being taken away from me. But it just happened in one second. That's it. Then it was gone. Uh, but how, what did you do to make it go away, though? That's, that's, that's the mystery. I was just, I just said, well, he's right here right now. So. Mm. And that's it. Mm. And I had to say, now remember. <laughs> now it's strong. Oh man, it's been a minute and 50 seconds on this thing. I can't come up with it. But anyway, today we're going to ask the Creator for permission to do things today. You know, Father, give me permission to get out of bed. Father, give me permission to speak the truth. Father, grant me permission to do thy will and not mine. Father, grant me permission to run to you as my, as my protector. Grant me permission to speak of your name. Grant me permission to speak of the saint's name. Grant me the pleasures of, of remembering our culture and our language and our thirst to be a nation. Grant me permission to lead the nation until somebody better else come. Or if they're already there, let me be a supporter and counselor. Of. Permission. I noticed we asked for permission to drive our cars. We asked for permission to put our kids in school. You even ask for permission on what to feed your kids and yourself. You ask for permission what to wear, how much money to spend, how much money to make, how many kids to or not to have, wives, husbands. You need permission to go deer hunting. You need permission to go fishing. Uh, you need permission to get married. Uh, you need permission to make a purchase. You need permission for education. And if you don't add permission, you go to this thing called um, penitentiary, according to the states and the federal law. And so now that the states and the federal law has gave you a life of servitude to them, because if you don't ask for permission to drive your car called a driver's license, you won't drive. And if you don't ask permission to eat called a hunting license, you won't eat. And a fishing license, you won't fish because you have to have the state's permission to do these things that are natural in God's in God's planet. And he gave us dominion over. Not just one group of or one nation. So I'm thinking how many of you out there ask for permission 
from the creator of all things. Think about that. I'm laying in bed right now. And um, right now, you know, I'm asking for permission to send this video out and hopefully it'll make sense to somebody. But this is on the fly. I didn't even get up to pre 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 meditate it. It's like, you know, we get up and we share, we, we record it and send it. So you heard it first, you know, I heard a small conversation about what happens when we don't ask God for permission, but we ask other people for permission. And because they've given us permission, we keep doing things without being aware of what we're doing. Like not asking the creator for permission. That's that's a very huge thing. Because he said, I don't want your, uh, your prayers or your worship. He said, I want your obedience. That's heavy. When he said, I don't want your prayers or your worship, I want your obedience. It's written. I read it. It's in scripture. And he says, I don't want your sacrifice no more. I want your mercy. So there's two words that destroys all laws. Mercy and obedience. So just for the day, I'm going to practice mercy rigorously. Just for the day, uh, I'm going to be over, try. I'm going to be aware of my obediences, my choice of my choice of obediences, and who I'm being obedient to. These things we have to ask ourselves. Whose time am I on? Am I on God's time? On my on my time? Or am I on the slave master's time? There's three there's three starting points in life in the person's life. God, personal, or another per another human's time. And um it's safer to be on, on the most highest time because you can't go wrong. Till next time, ask for permission. Peace.